The COVID pandemic is no longer a public health emergency, according to the World Health Organization. Just hours after that announcement, the director of the CDC, Rochelle Walensky, said she's stepping down. The agency is also changing the way it does surveillance of COVID. ABC's Rena Roy explains all of the changes. It's officially a new era of COVID-19. But I declare COVID-19 over as a global health emergency. The World Health Organization with that big announcement today and next week, the U.S. public health emergency will also expire. The CDC says that means its surveillance methods of COVID will change. The bottom line is that the CDC will still be able to tell that it's snowing, even though we won't be counting every single snowflake. The federal agency will now primarily use hospital admissions and wastewater to track COVID levels across the country instead of testing data. A lot of folks are testing at home for COVID-19 and because many more cases now are milder or even as asymptomatic, a lot of folks aren't testing at all. All of that means that case numbers are not the most reliable indicator. As we enter this new phase, experts warn it's still important to stay vigilant. The WHO says last week the virus claimed a life every three minutes. The CDC says its work will continue as normal when it comes to vaccine effectiveness and research into long COVID. Well, COVID is still around. Just because we're lifting these declarations doesn't mean we still should drop our guard and not be vigilant. This comes amid a big announcement from CDC Director Dr. Rochelle Walensky stepping down at the end of June. Dr. Walensky addressed senators on Thursday warning of a lack of readiness for the next pandemic, urging lawmakers to stay on top of funding to help the country better prepare. President Biden released a statement thanking Dr. Walensky for her work, saying she helped save lives in a once in a generation pandemic. No word on who might replace her. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York.